Hi everyone, this is Maddie. I was inspired by a Raw Beauty 06 to do this video on which lip color best suit for your skin. Okay, she did a video on olive skin tones. Um, for me, I'm doing my skin tone, which is actually uh, NC30 to NC35. I'm NC30 for Mac Studio Fix and NC35 for the MAC Blackful but I do have a lot of um, yellow skin tones because I'm Chinese so I kind of thought that this would be a good you know my skin would be a good gauge for you because a lot of Singaporeans are Chinese and I hope that I can I will be able to help you find uh, okay, in my honest opinion, I think the NC30 is a quite a universal color that is um, we can actually wear a lot of um, types of lipsticks. Like we can actually pull off a range of colors of lipsticks because I I see it because it happens to me. I realize that uh, many of the lipsticks that I bought, I actually can pull it off. Um, even those that I that seem to be unable to that I am unable to I still can pull it off if I wear you know like darker looks on my eyes like smoky looks and I, I can pull off the very pale kind of lipsticks so that's um, NC30 is quite a, a good skin color another tip that I like to give you is that if you have a lot of yellow undertones like I do you might want to buy a foundation that has like slight pink undertones to it so that you can neutralize your skin tone and then uh, you will be able to uh, apply more uh, kind of range of lip colors because you know neutral neutral skin tones can pull off all kinds of um, lip colors so that is a tip okay so let's move on to what kind of lip colors can i wear and another tip that i like to give you which is from bobby brown herself she said that the best lip color is the best lip color that you can find is one that actually looks good on you even when you are not wearing any makeup so that is the best okay first off i'm going to start off with new lipsticks okay um, lip colors are actually really difficult to describe because like uh, you know you can have your nudes or you can have your pinks, your peach, your corals but yet they have like all kinds of undertones that make them different some undertones are more wearable than others whereas some are not so suited for your skin so I'm going to show you the nudes which I like and the nudes which I dislike. Okay, the nudes that I like actually do have peachy undertones to it. I realize that pink and peach undertones as well as some lilac undertones actually work well for my skin which is the NC30. And my favorite favorite nude lipstick is um, Pleasure Seeker from the MAC Neo Sci-Fi uh, collection. I'm sorry that some of the lipsticks that I'm going to show you are from are limited edition because I'm such a sucker for limited edition lipsticks. So I, I mean if hopefully you can find something that is similar. So this one is like this one as I said has peach undertones and it's a nude lipstick. I'm going to show you uh, when I wear it like how it looks like. Look at that. It instantly brighten up my face. So and this is this color I think is also a very universal color it can work on like olive skin tones or um darker skin tones because I've read from makeup early that it does. So this is a great color for NC30. Another great color which I think it's also sorry it's a limited edition one is Marquise D from the 
MAC Wonder Woman collection this one has pink undertones and it's also a nude and it has some gold shimmers gold gold looks great on my skin from what I noticed so try to you might want to find something that has a little bit of pink and gold undertones and that will look great on you so this one is also great I'm going to apply it on my lips wipe it off so this is what Marquis D looks on me. It does have some pink undertone. So it's a pinky nude color That's what they say. It has gold shimmers. So it looks really really nice on me. So look for a lipstick that has either a nude lipstick that has either pink or nude. Uh, I mean pink or peach undertones. Hi girls, sorry about that but the lighting has gone off in my room so there's no more sunlight and I have to switch on my light so I can um, particularly show you the exact color of the lipsticks on my lips anymore because everything looks weird on me right now I will try to see if I can add like any uh, if I see any color I will try to add but I can't be sure that the colors will be accurate because I am using artificial lighting right now so but I will show swatches after the video okay the next one I'm going to show you is from ELF and it's from the mineral line and this one is called nicely nude this one is not doesn't really look like a nude it looks more pink but since they say it's a since they call it nicely nude, I assume we will call it nude. Even though it has more pink than nude, it's still pretty pale. And it looks really nice on my skin. So I would highly recommend this because it goes on with any look as well for me. And as I said earlier, pink um, lipstick we have, which have pink undertones look great on NC30 skin tone. So, this one is highly recommended as well, nicely nude. The next one I'm going to show you is a lip gloss and it's called Belly Nude from Silky Girl. Okay, this one is awesome because it is not really nude, it, I would say it's more um, brownish nude and it has golden shimmers in it. As, as I've mentioned earlier, that gold looks great on our skin tone and this is what it looks like I will try to apply I hope it turns out well so that's what it looks like so this is great and you can get this easily at Watson or Guardian for only 7 to 9 bucks depending on when you buy it because sometimes there are discounts and yeah I highly highly recommend this one okay there's a certain kind of nude lipsticks that we girls we and the girls <laughs> should try to avoid and that are pale um, whitish nudes that, that that doesn't have any undertone to it, just nude because it this kind of nude will actually wash our color out and one good example of it is um, NYX Cersei or Cerse, whatever you call it okay this is this kind of lipstick is not the type for us because because it's yellow okay we for me i'm already considered a yellow tone girl and for me to point yellow nude lipstick just makes me look um sick so i will demonstrate for you to see like why Okay, so this is what Cersei looks like on me. Look at it. It makes me look sick. So I do not recommend this lipstick for girls with skin tones like mine. 
or just make you look um, sick and not that I can't totally pull this color off I can if I wear smoky looks and I want to tone down a bit but most of the time I can't so and who wears smoky looks every time right so yeah definitely um, not recommend I would not recommend this lipstick Another one I would not recommend, although this is a huge fave with people around, is the Revlon Soft Nude. Okay, this one does have um, some peachiness inside. I, I'm not sure, I think I mentioned just now that peaches also look good on my skin, but this one is just too pale, even though it has some peach tones in it. And this and the NYX Cersei both just look like concealer on my lips and it's hideous because it makes me look tired, makes me look sick so I would not recommend um, people who have my skin tone to get this two lipsticks okay. moving on to pinks pinks are my favorite favorite lipsticks because I, I just love pinks pink blush, pink lipstick so pink lipsticks those with lilac undertones will work great on skin tones like my NC30 and I would highly highly recommend the Lady Gaga lipstick in uh, Viva Glam Lady Gaga lipstick and this one is a uh, bubblegum pink but it has lilac undertones so applying it Applying it will give you that kind of um, glowy effect. It just gives color to your face. And it is just so nice on my lips. And this one this one is a luster so it isn't very drying. So highly highly recommend this one if you are my skin tone. This gets a something with lilac. If you layer this on enough, you can just see the lilac coming through. So, I like this one. Another one which is great also, and because it also has some bluish lilac undertones, although not as much as the Lady Gaga one, is the MAC Cream Cup Lip Stain. So it's a cream sheen. Okay, this one is a slightly darker, it's not a bubble pink. it's slightly darker than the Viva uh, Viva Glam Lady Gaga but it still looks nice because as I said it has a lilac tinge to it so applying it you you can sometimes you can see the lilac coming through and this is great and bluish slight bluish and lilac undertone actually make your teeth look whiter so that is good okay another pink lipstick which is awesome is the Maybelline Color Sensation Lipstick in Pink Please Okay, this one is just a neutral neutral pink and I'm pretty sure it suits everyone it also suits like Diana and she has olive skin because this is just a neutral pink it doesn't have any um, undertones, warm, cold, cool undertones so a neutral pink would just work on everyone so this one also I recommend okay so if so that's it for um, understated pink lipsticks uh, not so much of a bright lip color but if you are going for one of those very hot look very awesome I would say awesome you want you want to make a statement or something you can actually go for um, this hot pink lipstick from the from NYX and this one is in Paris. This one comes this one is from the uh round lipstick line and I'm gonna show you why it's awesome. Look at that it, it makes a huge statement and say that oh I'm wearing lipstick, I'm wearing bright lipstick, <laughs> I'm wearing bold lip. And why why this one works for me is because um again this one has purple undertones to it. Purple again. So purple you look closely 
purple looks awesome on easy dirty skin tone so that's it for the pink lipsticks let's move on to corals okay I have noticed that corals in general don't really work well on me especially those that are like very orangey orangey red they just they look too clownish on me so I wouldn't recommend coral lipsticks much but um there are actually two coral rip products which I think that are still quite good um, it's because I think they are not that orangey but they are still, you can still see their coral and one of it is um, the lips, the MAC lipstick in Apple Hip I'm sorry this is an LE lipstick again but this one works great because I think it's because it's sheer it's sheerer than most coral lipstick it's not very orangey although it looks very orange on the camera but still this one is a good alternative if you want to wear corals but can't pull it off another one I, is, is a hit with people is the Revlon Super Lustrous li uh, Lip Gloss in Coral Reef okay um, this one works because it has pink in it it has some pink in it so that's why it works well on my skin and this is what the uh, color looks like this one is also quite a bright color even though and but it works it, it just works you know even though it's bright and it makes a statement but but it works <laughs> so for corals i recommend these two if you can't get this then get this <laughs> okay okay peaches peaches work really really well on our skin um as i have shown you earlier pleasure sticker is a great lipstick to have because it has peach it's a peach nude color and another one another uh lip product that is good that is a good peach is this one this nyx mega shine lip gloss in smoky look and this one works really really well on me because besides being because as i said peach works well on me it has gold shimmers and i mentioned earlier that gold works awesome on us so do check this one out as this one and it's a huge fave with people on youtube and in the makeup world there's a reason for it so this one do check it out okay for browns okay browns look will look natural on us they um it brown will just make us look as though uh, we are not wearing a lipstick it is a very very understated color at least for me it's because every time i wear brown lipsticks or okay not dark brown but light brown it just makes me feel like I'm not wearing any lipstick it just makes, it's like my natural lip color so if you are going for some understatement or you want to look like that you're not wearing any makeup or any lipstick then go for light brown or soft brown lipstick I recommend one lipstick one is the stage um, Wanderlust lipstick in Judy okay this is just a very nice soft um, brown Color and the Wonderlust lipsticks are very moisturizing and this one goes on quite sheer so applying this lipstick on my lips makes me look like I'm not wearing a lipstick I'm just applying lip balm but still it has a bit of color it makes my lips a little lighter but still this one is good if you are you are going for that I don't want to look like I'm wearing a makeup look another one is um the Maybelline Moisture Extreme Lipstick in Nude Blush this one is also a light soft brown color but this one has pink undertones so again pink looks great on us so get if try looking for a soft brown color that has light pink this one does add a bit of color to my lips so it's the kind of um, 
your list for better kind of lipstick so um, this one is grey I'm this one I'm I think is discontinued but I think you can still get it like, online or on blog shop so I would highly recommend this one goes on great with any kind of um, eyeshadow any kind of look that you are going for because it's understated but still you get a tinge of color okay last but not least last but not least red lips red red lip color okay i uh, i find it difficult to pull off red lipstick because they're so bold and it's really difficult to find a correct lip a uh, red lip color for your lips so in my case i would go for something that is of a neutral red one that does not have any um undertone just just red you know just just red and I would recommend the MAC lip gloss in Russian red okay I'm not sure whether you can see I will provide swatches but this one is just an ordinary red that has no undertones or like blue warm or, or whatever cool undertone because because if you use um, the wrong kind of red lips you will, you will look clownish so if you are going for a red lip, try looking, try finding one that is doesn't have any undertones, doesn't have any shimmer, just something that is matte, something that is just basically neutral. So this one is the one that I found. So I would recommend you check this one out if you are looking for a red lip color. And so that's it for um, finding the red uh the the correct lip color for you and i hope this video is helpful i'm sorry that um i can't like show you all the lipsticks that i have on my list because the because they like daylight is gone and i'm left with artificial light and i'm quite sure it doesn't look look good like the lipstick you can't see the true color of the lipsticks so or lip color so I'm very sorry about the bio provide swatches right after this video so do check them out and thank you girls for watching and I'll see you next time bye